USD GPY. As I mentioned, the USD, uh, USD GPY should be good for the sell immediately. And thankfully that uh, paid off. And hopefully guys who have entered this signal have earned some really good profit. I mean, no less than 80 pips of profit from this uh, signal. Now, what is the next move? Now we can see that the USD GPY is reversing right on the support level right here. And now it made the bouncing. However, I think it's not gonna last for a long time. Just similar to the USD CAD, I believe it's gonna go a little bit more up, uh, retesting this previous resistance level, and then it's gonna continue falling more down. So let's try to make it short. Uh, the USD GPY actually uh, on the four hour chart seems like it's reversing from the support level. Look at that. Seeing this, let me just zoom in. Seeing this price action here, indicating a rejection in the level and the market is not able to break out from the support level so you cannot expect for it to immediately break out of it most likely this price action actually indicating that the market is going to reverse this is the candle i'm talking about when you see a candle like that with long wick at the top with a big body and a small tail at the bottom this is usually indicating that the market is a start to reverse and when i say that when I'm telling you to wait a price action to indicate a sell or buy, that is the candle I'm talking about. For the buy order, you have to wait for this candle. If I'm telling you to wait a price action for the sell, you need to wait for the opposite side candle, meaning a small wick at the top and a long tail at its bottom. This, this price action is really one of the most trusted price action in my uh, opinion. And we can see it appeared right here on the USD GPY on this support level meaning right now usd gpy is reversing and going up uh, again not so much not for so much i mean not for so long uh, let's go back to the daily candles so we can see it more clear where we can expect the uh, sell for the usd gpy to start in my opinion this is the best level to start shorting the usd gpy we c because we have two key support levels so sorry we have two key uh, one key support one key uh, support level and we have another key resistance level right here therefore this level of the resistance has has become a support level and it kept its position for so long time finally after the breakout happened now the retest is gonna uh, approach here i'm not expecting for the market to actually break out from this level and therefore we can expect for the usd gpy to continue its bearish momentum all the way until it hit this previous support level right here so let's make it short again uh, usd gpy should be good for the sell right on this level on i think here sell the usd gpy on the level 108.468 that actually should be good level to start shorting the usd gpy and let me tell you that there is a chance that the market, the candles might go a little bit against your direction just for a little bit until hitting this previous resistance right here. So we are not talking about much more, not only, not more than 15 pips. I don't really think the USD GPY is gonna exceed this level. And again, the reason for that is because here we have a resistance level. And if we go more to the left, we can see that here we also had a resistance level so i'm just trying to be uh, I'm, I'm trying to give you safe uh, signals as much as possible you need to avoid uh, or you need to be aware that the market if it did not reverse on this resistance level it might reverse on this resistance level um, as a backup plan i'm really doing my best here to help everyone i just really hope it's gonna pay off and everyone is gonna make some good profit from trading using my signals uh, if the trade did not go in our favor, if the signal failed, that doesn't mean that I'm a scammer or I am a fraud. I'm just, I'm seeing the comments. I'm seeing the comments on YouTube. It's really painful to see these comments that when I'm giving you a signal that it, it doesn't work, uh, some noob or some beginner will start calling me fraud, scammer. I mean, I'm just giving my best, guys. I'm just giving the analysis. If you don't agree on it, we can politely discuss it and we can maybe change the signal it happened before in the past those who are following me i have changed a signals many times when i see the price action going against the, the direction i gave however uh sorry for making making it long video even though it just can be fit in just two minutes so 
hopefully this is gonna be a good week for everyone and again thank you guys for watching